There, that's better. That's America. See, America still sets the tone for the world. In Indiana, Clark Hogg, 13, the best point guard in the country. Last week, he scored 100 points in a single game. Erica Sorgan. You'll see her in the next Olympics. In Seattle, Dallas Malloy, 16. Her lawsuit helped pave the way for women boxers everywhere. She's picturing her ex-boyfriend right now. In Indio, California, Art Stallings. Check out Pure Jorks. Like. In Odessa, Texas, the great Frank Cushman. This April, 26 teams will be falling all over themselves to sign him in the next NFL draft. He's my client, my most important client. When are you gonna try? When are you gonna concentrate? You wanna be a champion? Believe me, there's genius everywhere, but until they turn pro, it's like popcorn in the pan. Some pop. Oh, darn it! What the heck, Coach? You don't give us water, don't you? Oh. I'm the guy you don't usually see. I'm the one behind the scenes. I'm the sports agent. Hey, I'm gonna hurt you this year. Yeah, yeah, Listen, doors always open. Come and get a real agent. Thanks. Right, you're welcome, John. That's right. I've got to go to a meeting right now. You know who I'm gonna talk about? You. Because I kill for you. I'm an animal. Oh, we got to win Super Bowls. I hail you. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? How much is this gonna cost? You and I both know there's a number you can afford. So I'm just gonna write it down and move forward from there. I can't afford that. No one said winning was cheap. You know those photos where the new player holds a team jersey and poses with the owner? That's me on the left. <laughs> Inside that building, that's where I work. SMI, Sports Management International. 33 out of shape agents guiding the careers of 1,685 of the most finely tuned athletes alive. All right. I handle the lives and dreams of 72 clients and get an average of 264 phone calls a day. It's what I do. I will not rest until I have you holding a coat, wearing your own shoe, playing a Sega game, featuring you while singing your own song in a new commercial starring you, broadcast during the Super Bowl in a game that you are winning. And I will not sleep until that happens. It's what I do best. Give me 15 minutes to call me back. And I'll be honest. I started noticing it a few years ago and didn't say a word. And the quest for the big belt is a lot of the little things we're going for. Listen, there's no proof of anything except this guy is a sensational athlete. <laughs> Are you Calvin Nat? Can you sign my card? Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, little fella. I can't sign this particular brand of card. Only Pro Jam Blue Dot cards. <laughs> Lately, it's gotten worse. Oh, he goes down! Hi, baby. You know your name? Uh, Wait, it's coming. My name is Steve Remo. Yeah. I play for Chicago. Oh, this lady here is my wife. Hi, baby. And this is my boy, and this is a... Uh, uh, my agent, my agent. Oh, and I gotta play this weekend, Doc. I'm playing 65% of my games, I get a bonus. I gotta get the bonus. Okay, Jesse. Take care, little guy. Mr. McGuire. Yeah? This is his fourth concussion. Shouldn't somebody get him to stop? Hey, hey, hey. It would take tank to stop your dad. It would take all five super trooper VR warriors to stop your dad. Right? Right? Fuck you. <laughs> that was like... What would I become? Just another shark in a suit? <laughs> Breakdown? Breakthrough. 
fuck you. Do you know your name? I couldn't escape one simple thought. I hated myself. No, 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 here's what it was. I hated my place in the world. I had so much to say, no one could listen. And then it happened. It was the oddest, most unexpected thing. I began writing what they call a mission statement. Not a memo, a mission statement. You know, a suggestion for the future of our company. A night like this doesn't come along very often. I seized it. What started out as one page became 25. Suddenly, I was my father's son again. I was remembering the simple pleasures of this job. How I ended up here out of law school, the way a stadium sounds when one of my players performs well on the field. The way we are meant to protect them in health and in injury. With so many clients, we had forgotten what was important. I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. And I'm not even a writer. I was remembering even the words of the original sports agent, my mentor, the late great Dickie Fox, who said, The key to this business is personal relationships. Suddenly, it was all pretty clear. The answer was fewer clients. Less money. More attention. Caring for them. Caring for ourselves and the games, too. Just starting our lives. Really. Hey, I'll be first to admit it. What I was writing was somewhat touchy feely. I didn't care. I had lost the ability to bullshit. It was the me I always wanted to be. That was a clip from what movie? Jack Wire. Oh, but if you haven't seen it, I, I suggest you see it. It's a great movie. Uh, now, in the clip, Jerry Maguire, he was not happy with his job. He wasn't feeling fulfilled, fulfilled with. Feeling fulfilled. Say that a bunch of times. So he said, what do I do? Let me write a mission statement. A new mission statement for his company. Now, if you saw the movie, did they?